Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to upload fonts into FontCloud. So here I am in FontCloud. If you don't know what this is, it's a font manager where you can put all of your different fonts in and then you can scroll through and see what your project will look like in all of your different fonts. So here I have typed my name Crystal. And if I just scroll through here in FontCloud, I can see how my name will look in every font that I have. So FontCloud is amazing for you to you know, get your projects done quickly because you can see them all right here. But I get asked a lot um, how to upload fonts into FontCloud. So I'm going to take you through that whole process right now. I'm going to close this out. So here I am in Creative Fabrica. This is my favorites section of where I've just down or favorited a bunch of fonts that I like. Um, I keep them here because it's just a quick, easy way to get to them. So I'm going to do these two right here. Um, I'm going to download both of these fonts from Creative Fabrica, and then I'm going to upload them into FontCloud. Okay, let's start with this one, um, Milkity. So I'm going to click on the font and I'm going to download. Okay, now you can see it's downloading here. This is going to the downloads folder on my computer. Your computer system may be different. Um, wherever you have your downloads set to go is where you're gonna find them. So since mine go automatically to a folder, I'm going to minimize this out and go into this folder that I have for all of my downloads. And here it is. Now, anytime you download something from Creative Fabrica, it will be in a zip file. You have to open that zip file. So if you'll notice, let me go back. Here it is. I'm just going to double click it and it's opening because I have the capability on my computer. If it doesn't open for you, you're going to need to download an additional program that will open zip files for you. But if you're working on any one of a newer computer you should be able to open these zip files just by opening them. Once you open the zip file you will get this actual um, font file. Now most of the fonts that you're going to get from Creative Fabrica or anywhere else are going to have two files in here. One, one would be the open type which is what we have right here and another would be a true type. This particular one doesn't have the true type. I didn't know that before going into this, but it's okay because open type is the newer of the two. It's the more inclusive of the two, and it's the one I always download. So this one's good. We have the open type. I'm just going to drag it out of this folder and put it on my desktop. You need to move it out of whatever folder you're putting it in for, for the purposes that we're using here. So here it is over here on my desktop. Um, before I upload this font into um, FontCloud, I need to install it on my computer. It's not going to do any good if it's not installed on my computer. I'll be able to look at it in FontCloud, but I won't be able to use it unless it's installed on my computer. So to do that, I'm going to right click the font file and I'm going to install for all users. Here I need to click this more options and then here I have install for all users. If you're on a Mac or an older version of uh, Windows or something different, it might be a little different for you, but you do need to install it. Um, I like this install for all users because it's gonna let every program on my computer have access to this file. So I've clicked that, it is installing and it is done. Okay, so. I have downloaded this font from Creative Fabrica. I have unzipped the file and moved the file to my desktop. I have installed the file on my computer. Now I can put this into Creative Fabrica. So let me open up my font cloud. So let's see, go to creativefabrica.com, go to tools and font cloud, open font cloud, Okay, here I am. I'm going to browse. I'm going to look on my desktop where I have stored that file folder. And there it is. Double click. It is now installing right here 
into my font cloud. So let's see. Milkity right there. OTF. Okay. So if I refresh this and I type my name in here again and I scroll down to my M's, I should see my name in the new font that I have uploaded into font cloud. Where is it? There it is. Awesome. So here we go. There it is in the new font that I just uh, uploaded into font cloud. Now I want to show you a couple other things on here. I'm going to do a different font. Um, let's see back to my favorites and fonts. Okay, this font right here, I found this today when I was preparing for this video and I was blown away by this font. Okay, it's basically a catchwords font and um, I'm going to make a whole different video on how to use this, but right now I'm just going to show you how to access it and get it into Font Cloud and you can see some of the really cool things that this font's going to do. So obviously first we want to download the file. And here it is again, going to my downloads. This was a much bigger file, so it took just a little bit longer for it to download. Into my download shortcut, use your words. Okay, let me unzip this file. And now you see all these different things here. There's the arrows, the banners, and the circles. And this one does have the open type and the true type, like I said before. I'm only going to be using the open type fonts, so I'm going to pull them all out and put them on my desktop. There's the arrows, here's the banners, here's the circles. Okay, I can close this out now. And I want to move these over to where I can easily access them. And I'm going to put this guy back over here because I don't need it anymore. Okay, so we've downloaded them. We need to install them. Right click, install for all users. You can also just double click it and you can hit this install up here, um, but that's not, that may restrict access to some uh, programs on your computer. That's why I don't like to do it that way, but I mean, that is an option as well. Right click, install for all users. <clears throat> right click install for all users okay so now they're all installed on my computer another little um, fun tip once you do this you can use these fonts in Cricut Design Space you do not have to install them or upload them into Design Space once they're on your computer you can come over here and open Cricut Design Space and they will automatically be there okay so here these three fonts are let me get them into font cloud so I'm in font cloud and I need to upload these fonts. Last time I showed you the browse feature where you click the browse here and you go in and you find the three fonts that you want to upload. But I've also had questions on how to upload multiple fonts at one time. Well, let me show you that. I'm going to minimize my window here. I'm going to grab all three of these fonts. So they're all selected now. You see how they're all selected? And I'm just going to drag them right over here into this portion, the upload portion of Font Cloud. And there they go. They're all uploading. With one click and drag, they're all there. Use your words circles. Use your words banners. Use your words, <laughs> use your words arrows. Okay, and it's that simple. That is how you get fonts into font cloud.